Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can perform an unattended installation or upgrade of your standalone Secure Access Link Gateway. Let's go over a few key points before we begin. This method of installation is required when no Linux graphical environment exists. This method, however, can also be used in a graphical environment if your preference is to operate purely in a command line setting. This procedure only applies to the standalone cell gateway and is not applicable to the cell gateway on system platform. This method of installation will work on any version of the standalone gateway 1.8 or greater. Lastly, remember that you still need to ensure that you've satisfied any and all hardware and software requirements prior to installing your cell gateway software. Let's next look briefly at the requirements needed to accomplish this task. First, you'll need the IP address of the Red Hat server where you'll be installing your cell gateway software. You'll need the root login and password for this server. You'll also need a login for the cell gateway user interface with administrator level permissions or higher. And you'll also need a copy of the cell gateway software that you intend to install moved over to the target system. And finally, one final note about installation versus upgrade. The procedure for performing a new unattended installation is identical to that of an upgrade. So both will simply be referred to as installation hereafter. The first step in the process is gaining command line access to our server as root. I'm already logged into my server, so let's continue. We'll begin by unzipping and unpacking the cell gateway software we've downloaded or copied over to our server. Start by changing to the directory where you've placed your cell software. For this tutorial, I've placed mine under the Avaya user home directory, so I'll navigate there now with cd space forward slash home forward slash Avaya forward slash sal gw forward slash major underscore releases then press return. I'll then issue the ls command and as you can see there is my sal.zip software. We'll now unzip and unpack the .zip file using the Linux unzip utility issue the following command to extract the contents of the file. Unzip space the name of your file .zip then press return. Now I'll go ahead and issue the ls command again and as you can see, here is a listing of the entire contents of my zip archive. From this listing, two and potentially three files are of importance to us, depending on the version of cell gateway we're installing. The runinstaller.sh script, the agent gateway underscore response.properties file, and the third possibly being the models.zip file. The models.zip file is only applicable to cell gateway 2.x. I will describe each file in the next section. So what do each of these files do? Because we're performing the installation in a non-interactive mode, we still need a way to pass a minimal set of mandatory parameters to the installer that would otherwise be collected with the attended mode. These aforementioned files allow us to accomplish just that, pass the required data to the cell gateway installer. The runinstaller.sh is the installation script used to install the cell gateway software. The agent gateway underscore response.properties file is the file that we'll need to pass as input to the runinstaller.sh script. It contains both mandatory and optional parameters needed to successfully install your cell gateway. And finally, the models.zip file is just a prepackaged set of Avaya product descriptor files used by the 2.x gateway installer. We're just about ready to edit our file. However, before we begin, as I mentioned during the introduction, the procedure described thus far applies to both a new installation or upgrade of your cell gateway software. Therefore, it is critical that you only use the agent gateway underscore response.properties file that comes bundled with your cell gateway zipped software and not any other. Otherwise, your installation could fail. With that in mind, let's go ahead and open up the file for editing by typing vi space agent gateway underscore response.properties, then press enter. Please make the appropriate edits to your file as I make them in mind. The mandatory sections for a new installation are as follows. Under Installation Path Information, this will be the installation directory of your cell gateway. It is recommended that you leave this path at default unless you've installed or would like to install your cell gateway in a different directory. IP Tables Select and Syslog Select. 
these two parameters must be set to true to allow the installer to make changes required for proper gateway operation. Agent Gateway Configuration Mandatory Fields for the parameter gateway.solution.elementID this value serves as a unique identifier for your cell gateway. Spirit.alarmID this parameter defines the cell gateway alarm ID used by the gateway when generating alarms. Agent Gateway underscore IP address this is the IP address of your cell gateway which should be the IP address you have defined for your server. Under the section select the user account and user group for the parameter agent gateway underscore username this will be the cell Linux user who owns all gateway directories and services. You can accept the user here that the installer provides or you can create a user yourself and provide that user. For the parameter agent gateway underscore user group this will be the group assigned to the cell user. For the section Avaya Enterprise Configuration Mandatory Fields for the parameter primary underscore avaya underscore enterprise underscore passphrase, this value acts as an authentication password which allows the gateway to establish communication with a cell core server. Primary underscore avaya enterprise URL. This is the fully qualified domain name of the cell core server where your cell gateway will send your product alarms to. You can leave this to the default of secure.alarming.avaya.com primary underscore avaya underscore enterprise port this is the HTTPS port of the cell concentrator core server described directly above for the parameter primary underscore exita underscore enterprise underscore URL this is the fully qualified domain name of the cell remote server that the cell gateway uses to set up remote sessions to the gateway or your devices leave this at the default of SL1 that cell that .com. primary underscore exita underscore enterprise underscore port this is the HTTPS port of the cell concentrator remote server all of the sections described so far must be filled out for any cell gateway 1.8 or greater one other important parameter which may or may not be required depending on your environment is the proxy select parameter if this is used set proxy select to true and provide your proxy server details. Now there are three additional parameters that must be cared for if you are performing a silent installation or upgrade for a cell gateway version 2.x. Beginning with version 2.x the cell gateway must be told where it can obtain a required models.zip file. This model package describes the various remote access and alarming characteristics among other things of the supported Avaya products. If your server already has network access, then you won't need to edit these parameters as the gateway will retrieve the latest models.zip file online during the installation. If, however, your server does not have network access, you'll need to modify additional parameters to instruct the gateway to obtain this file from the local file system. Remember, a copy of the models.zip archive is included as part of the cell gateway software, so you can find it in the same directory you extracted your gateway software. In the section model package installation fields for the parameter model underscore radio underscore selection equal online this is the default method of how the gateway will attempt to get the models.zip file. You'll need to place a comment marker which is a pound sign at the beginning of this line so the gateway will know not to attempt to get this file online. Then in the section model package installation fields offline for the parameter model underscore radio underscore selection equal offline you'll need to remove the comment marker so the gateway will know to look in the local file system. For the parameter model underscore install underscore path again just like above you'll also need to remove the comment marker at the beginning of this line then update the path to where you downloaded and unzipped your cell gateway software. The remaining parameters are optional. Remember all these parameters could always be provided later via the cell gateway administration interface. Okay, that completes all of the edits we'll need. So let's now save and exit the file by pressing colon WQ exclamation point and return to our command line. We are now finally ready to begin the cell gateway installation. Issue the following command as I have here. Dot slash run installer dot sh space minus m space unattended 
space minus i space agent gateway underscore response dot properties space minus p space ignore but don't hit enter just yet I'll briefly explain each parameter dot slash run installer dot sh is the installation script we'll be executing minus m sets the mode of installation in this case we're specifying unattended minus i passes input to the installer so here we're passing the response.properties file minus p space ignore instructs the installer to continue if minor or non-critical warnings are detected let's go ahead and press enter the installation is now off and running depending on the version of gateway you are installing total install time may vary for this tutorial the process has been accelerated once the installer has completed the installation or upgrade you will see the installer indicate the presence of a log file under the Zell Gateway home installation directory. As you can see here, in my installation, a log file has been placed at forward slash opt, forward slash avaya, forward slash sal, in capital letters, forward slash gateway, forward slash install underscore logs. Okay, now on to our final task. Using your browser, enter the IP address of your cell gateway, followed by colon 7443, then press enter. If your cell gateway is up and running, your cell gateway will respond. Go ahead and accept the certificate, then proceed to the logon page. Using the Linux root login, go ahead and authenticate with your password. If your authentication attempt is successful, you have completed the installation or upgrade of your cell gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avayamentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.